so we're waiting for our tour to start and in the meantime we're gonna answer some husband and wife tag questions okay so Johnny has the questions contestando. what's the first question Johnny first question is how and where did we meet you want to answer or should I answer I, I could answer this one okay so uh, we first met in college and I believe it was 2004 uh, we had a, a computer class together and uh, I showed up I think I showed up late <laughs> and uh, there was only one seat available and it was next to, to you <laughs> and I was so nervous because I, here there is a hot guy sitting next to this nerd <laughs> Question number two, what was your first impression? My first impression, hot guy, off the bat. I was like the first thing, <laughs> what did I deserve? What did I do to deserve this hot guy sitting next to me? That was my, that was my first impression. So, yeah. My first impression was, see that's, that's a difficult thing to answer. Be right? honest, Jesus. Well, I mean, I was afraid of girls at the time. Uh, yeah, right. Afraid so, of girls. So even even talking to you saying hi, I was really nervous. So uh -huh. My first impression was like, uh, don't say something dumb that's gonna uh, make you look yeah. stupid. Okay. But you were really nice, baby. Though, I tell you that. Of course, yeah, I'm always you nice. Were really nice. Next question. How and where was our first date? How and where was our first date? Woo! <laughs> that was years later. Was uh, we? I told you that we were gonna go out pretty much. Didn't even give you an option. And we went to a club called the Monarch in downtown Phoenix. And that was our first date, pretty much after years of not seeing each other in person since high school. That was what year was that? 2014. Yeah. 14, 14 or 15. Uh, October 2014. So almost 10 years later. Believe it or not. Next one. Where was our first kiss and how was it? <laughs> <laughs> it was that same day. <laughs> and it was bomb. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was me. <laughs> he asked for it though. He's like, can I have a kiss? And I was like, sure. <laughs> Is where did you when did you meet my family? Uh, <clears throat> about a month later at that wedding. He had a family wedding event to go to and his family was gonna go. And so he took me. That was like a month after. And um, it was funny because all of his family knew me. Like I was saying hi to all of his family saying hi como esta and this and that. Everybody knew me and my suegra was like Donde la conocen? Or you knew her already? She was. She didn't know that they knew me already. And it's because I, uh, all his family and, and me and my family had gone to the same church all these years. So they knew I was a good girl, you know? Very good girl. You too? When did you meet my family? I don't remember. Do you remember? Um, I mean, unofficially, I met, I met your brother first before I met you. True. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, I don't know when I met you. Uh, That's a tough question. When, when was that though? I, it was probably like after you, I met your family. Because I remember... Yeah, well you, you met my family first. Yeah. And maybe six months down the line, eight months, I, I, I met... Uh, my family? Well, oh, your whole family. Like the rest of your brothers. God, I never know who he's with. as it sounds, I'm going to use a line that my grandmother is on one of my uncles. And I'm sorry for saying this, baby, but... What? You're scaring me. Es que otra pendeja como tú, no volver a encontrar. 
stuff. <laughs> okay, my turn. So I knew, yo, yo sabía que este era bueno because porque I don't know, maybe it's like when I would think about marrying you, it was just like an automatic yes. Like I didn't think about your flaws. I didn't think about anything. I just knew like no más. It just felt right, you know. It just there was no hesitation. There was no second thoughts. So that's how I knew. Or oh, adding to uh, what I was saying about you being the one. Uh -huh. It's it's a combination of all those things that you said. It's just you know you're already familiar with the family. We already had known each other. When and why did I know that I fell in love with you? Oh baby, when we connected that first day. Right. I was that when we when we connected because we had known each other since school and that time when we saw each other years after we were in school, was de cuenta que it just felt right. Se me se sentía así como que nunca nos habíamos dejado de ver, como se sintió como que el tiempo nunca había dejado de pasar. dancing a lot y me acuerdo que en el pasado te cuenta que si yo iba a un lugar y estaba una canción que me gustaba I didn't mind just going straight from the entrance all the way to the dance floor and, and dance right or it didn't matter if, if it was a dance floor or lo que sea entonces a mí me encantó cuando yo ni yo estábamos en la barra getting some drinks and the song came up and Johnny just me sacó a bailar ahí mero ahí luego luego enfrente del, del del bar y no le importó y no me importó y luego nos fuimos a bailar al, al dance club and we were all you know dancing goofy and stuff and él empezó y then yo le seguí y él le siguió and it was just <laughs> it was just really nice right? yeah what you said baby <laughs> no it's your turn too that was my long answer actually to why and when I, I know I knew when did you know I know because la comodidad que teníamos. Comodidad. Yeah, o sea, como que ya habíamos, like we had already known each other, right? Oh, se hace cuenta que vale más, vale más nuevo viejo por conocido que nuevo por conocer, ¿o qué? No. No, just. Porque ya me conocía, dije tú ya con esta me quedo. Well, look, my biggest thing. Con cualquier noviazgo, right? How, how, uh, how you get along with my family? Yeah. True. And obviously, you know, cuando se casa uno, va a ser tu propia vida con tu pareja, pero también you're gonna have to come in and see your family. Yeah. Maybe often or not often, but the the relationship you have with your with with the family is very important to me. Yeah. So I mean, our, our family is it's broken but united. Yeah. And, and it's, it's very important. So. That's true. Very true. You're right. How long have we been together, relationship and marriage? We've been together since the 2014, right? Yes. And we've been married since 2016, June 2016. So. We just hit our two-year anniversary last month. I hope it's getting our no our, our voices. Hopefully, it's not that noisy. It might be. Yeah, we'll see. Next question. How do we, how do you resolve problems? Ooh, at the best. Está <laughs> ruidoso. How do we resolve problems? Before, the way I would resolve problems era de que me enojaba, no le hablaba por días al Johnny, renunciaba, le pedía el divorcio y luego no se contentaba. 
Y ahora, hace cuenta como que no, yo por lo menos me da un espacio, lo asimilo, como, como, como dijo el señor otro día. Denial, what the three steps? Anger. So I would, I would go through my anger phase. Denial, acceptance. Denial phase, and then I would accept the fact, and then like five minutes later, we'll be okay. Now, but before, it wasn't like that. It's I, been a big learning, learning curve, curve, being married. Well, I mean, even before we started dating, maybe we got married, I always tackle proms head on, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't like leaving up to the next day unless I absolutely have to. Yeah. Now, it's a mega gordo though at first when you were just trying to fix things right there and then. Uy, me caía gordo. Pero ahora ya no. It's better that way to just like be mad for a few minutes and then like move on. It's best for everybody. She came a long way. She got okay the way I do it. <laughs> More often than not, uh, addresses the issue. Yeah. So that we can keep moving forward, not trading backwards. Yeah. All right. Next question is: What do you do for a living? And are you using your college degree? No, I am not using my college degree, <coughs> and I do sales. Are you using your degree? Associates. My associate's degree, it's just in general, so it's not really any specific field. Uh, the only place I'm using it for is my resume, that's it. Yeah. That's all it's good for. Yeah. Even though it's Same here. really nothing. Yeah. And I uh, I work in a, in a fulfillment center, but I work for the transportation department. Number 10. Ten. All right, number 11 is what key elements make a successful relationship and marriage? What key elements? I would say, I'll answer that one because I've learned a lot. Believe it or not, even though I think I'm perfect sometimes, I've had to change a lot to be able to live with this man right here. And I think that some of the things that have helped me understand him better is just enjoying life a lot more and not dwelling on the negativity because sometimes when you dwell you just lose out on so much good stuff that you could be enjoying instead of being mad and I also think that it's very important to learn and, and how learn about his feelings and how things that I might do make him feel because sometimes the interpretation can lead to problems too. Like I can mean something, but then he interprets it differently. Then he can mean something, and I interpret it, uh, interpret it differently. So just taking everything with a grain of salt uh, has helped me, I guess, and and being flexible too. For me, being flexible has helped me. También. All right. So my two keys are hablando se entiende la gente. Furbam. Furbam. Hablando se tiene la gente and second is you gotta be willing to compromise and above all learn how to forget because there's gonna be a lot of petty fights that aren't even worth arguing for but yeah you're there in that situation. The hardest thing is uh, learning how to live together, especially if you live with uh, you had you live with your parents before you, you guys got married, not because you guys cohabitated beforehand and the transition might have been easier because but in our case, uh, we were living it with our parents at the time, and it's just you have to learn how to compromise, give and take. And then uh, if there's any injustice, for once we'll take it more than the other, but we'll go ahead and address it. That's what goes to. Uh, Okay, so just for time constraints, we're gonna go to the, the juicy ones. Okay. Places you wanna travel. <laughs> Woo! Places I would like to travel. I would like to travel to Cuba, to Varadero, Cuba. Me gustaría también a Venice, Italia. Y what would be another one? I don't know. Brazil? 
Japan. Japan. Japan would be a, a, a one of my top destinations. Let's see. Another one would be Australia. Oh, Sydney. Yeah, Australia. And Cuba would be another destination I would like to travel. Yeah. So I could get uh, cigars. Uh, I don't know what it is about cigars, man. Dun, 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 dun. What do we argue about the most? What do we argue about the most? Yes. Nice juicy first. one. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. The biggest thing we argue about is oh, I know. cleanliness. Nah. Oh, on your side, maybe. Yeah, okay, so, that's all. You, you don't have to say more. <laughs> what about for you? For me, is misplacing things. I guess it goes along with cleaning lists. Where you're like, where's my wallet? Or where's this? And I'm like, I don't know where you put it. No me quiero echar la culpa a mí. No cuando busca, busca nomás así. Con encimita. What is your most repeated phrase or sentence? My most repeated phrase or sentence? Mine's easy, baby. Which one? El que tranza avanza. I just knew. Efectivamente. Oh my god. La mía es. Yo creo que esa. Oh my god. Todo el tiempo digo eso. All right. Yeah. Well, that's it, right that's there. It. That, was, that was 15. There's a lot of questions, but right. yeah, about it's 17 about minutes. Dang. Okay, well, that was it. Thank you for joining us. Like, <laughs> subscribe to subscribe. our channel. <laughs> Most likely, we're gonna be the time. first ones. But, uh, <laughs> los compadres, family, cousins, eh? yeah. Thank I you for you watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video, and see you next time. Bye.